What is going on nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy Stevie B with this week's haul video. Man, I don't know why, but it just, it seems like forever since I've done a video and it's only been a week, but it, it just, man, for some reason it just, the weeks are just dragging out, dragging out. It's probably because my work schedule's changed and I got a five day work week. Instead of four tens, I'm working with five eights now, so that extra day off I have, which would be today, Monday, um, isn't there anymore. And that was my comic book day. That Monday was for me because Amy had to work and I was home by myself and I could do all my YouTube things and everything. And, but now it's gone, so I got to squeeze this video in and then try to get some sleep so I can go to work tonight. But man... So have y'all seen the new Daredevil, or Daredevil, um, the new Deadpool trailer that just dropped, I think, today? Oh, uh, man, <laughs> I, 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 I hate to get roped in and baited in again, but it looks good. It looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for July. I'm excited for Daredevil. Or why do I keep saying Daredevil? Well, because I got a bunch of Daredevil books. But I am excited for Deadpool 3 or Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, it's one of the few Marvel movies that has got me really stoked to go see. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be as good as it looks on the previews. But, you know, they've suckered us in before. But the Daredevil movies have always... Or, good Lord, I keep calling Daredevil. The Deadpool movies... Why do I keep saying, I get, let's get you, ooh. I keep saying Daredevil because I got a whole bunch of Daredevil books. Um, but the Deadpool movies have been solid. So, you know, I got high hopes, got higher hopes. Um, but anyway, I mean, I'm gearing up for my yard sale. We're going to have it on Star Wars Day, uh, May the May the 4th. Um, the weather's looking good so far for it, and it's 75 degrees and sunny, so hopefully it stays that way. Um, so I'm pumped to get that done. Did not work on any comic books this weekend. Had so much other stuff to do. You, get, you know, you got two days to get it done, and, and in those two days, you got to do all your other stuff that you can't do during the week. Grocery shop and yard work and all that other stuff. Just didn't have the time to do it. But anyway, let's enough rambling. Let's get into it. And uh, this this haul, I got some good stuff. I can't wait to show you. Might as well start it off with the book that's just gonna get get the hate comments rolling. But I don't care. I had to get it. And this is from my Motown or my Motown. Y'all can tell I'm tired, can't you? My Midtown, my Motown, this is my Motown collection. Hee <laughs> hee, shaman. <laughs> but this is my Midtown pickups. And first up, we got Biden's Titans versus Trump's Titans. And why would I pick this book up? Because I don't care what side of the fence you're on. Whether you're left-leaning or right-wing or Trump supporter, Trump hater, um, whatever. you, I think one thing we can all agree on is this election is going to be the most decisive or um, divisive. Let's say divisive. It's going to be the most divisive election in the history of of presidential elections no matter who wins all hell is going to break loose and so this is going to be a historic election in my opinion and it doesn't matter like i said it doesn't matter who wins whoever wins the other side is going to swear they cheated and um, and somebody's going to riot it's going to get ugly but i thought well might as well grab this one because it's going to have some, uh, some uh, probably some, uh, hold some value just for historic purposes. Because uh, this is a, this is definitely an unprecedented time 
uh, of our generation and yeah like i said we're i think this election here is is will be the catalyst that could begin a civil war who knows it's it's gonna get ugly that is my prediction but anyway so i picked one up because you know ain't nothing nothing like capitalizing on <laughs> capitalizing on uh, on uh, on the uh, you know the potential for civil war like i did but anyway next up we've got um I forgot what number this is. I didn't write it on the back like I usually do. That's bad on me. Oh yeah, giant size, giant size Hulk number one. First appearance of Patchwork. I just loved the cover, so I picked one up. Pretty cool. Next, I went back and got this because there's a lot of a lot of chatter about this book and i thought okay well you know if he if he keeps popping up and you keep hearing about it maybe it maybe there's some interest in it and maybe i should pick one up just just uh, as a spec probably but um from the people that brought you stray dogs um this is feral issue number one with that dawn of the dead uh homage cover there so i picked one up thought i'd give it a shot and see what happens and of course like i said if if you know me at all if you watch any of my channels you knew i was getting this one and i'm really hoping that they're gonna do like they're gonna like they're doing with secret wars over at marvel and they're going to do an entire 12 issue uh release of these uh, this Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one, foil facsimile. I'm really hoping they do all 12 of them in a foil facsimile. I know they're doing all the entire uh, Secret Wars in foil facsimile. Uh, that's a cool collection to put together, and I can't wait to get it all put together. It gives me something to chase. It gives me something to look forward to in comics, because there hasn't really been that much to look forward to lately, so... This is what I got. Foil facsimiles, guys. You know, yeah. love them or hate them. I love them. And I'm going after them. All right, speaking of going after, y'all know I've been trying to put together that Frank Miller run on Daredevil. I'm surprised I didn't call him Deadpool. But you know I've been trying to pick up that entire run of Frank Miller, Daredevil. So I got a few more to add to the collection. Got 161 newsstand. Um, 162. It's just the direct, but still. Uh, and 180. And I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Yeah. But I knocked those off my list. So close to having them all. So close. You have no idea how close I am. I mean, we're talking. We may polish this off on next week's all video. So be so stay tuned for that. And next up, we got. Um, I went back to. I don't know if you remember my preview. One of my uh, uh, one-off videos it wasn't a haul video. It was more like a flea market finds video where i found a game exchange that had a whole bunch of comics well i was able to swing by there again this weekend and i and i kind of just breezed through a few of them um and i noticed that <clears throat> that the all the runs had all the keys taken out of them on on the box that i was going through so somebody has been in there and has uh got to it before I could get back to it and pick the keys out. But I did find two books that I that I was interested in getting and picked up. Um, one is uh, ASM 222. Now it's 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 in low it, it's a low grade copy. But um, and I'm not even sure why I picked it up. Desperation. You ever just get 
so desperate you you got to buy something that you you buy something that you probably shouldn't have but it was only a buck so but uh this is the first appearance of speed demon like i said it's a lower grade copy you can you can see it's got some conditions down there um the pages on the inside got some dog ear and i mean you got i mean it, it's a low grade probably not worth much more than the dollar but i got it anyway now this one i complete and total cover by i just love this cover um it's wilson and breeding um it's web of spider-man number seven but i just dug that that hulk cover is just awesome so i went ahead and picked it up not not a lot of value but definitely worth more than a buck i think newsstand too so it was definitely and this one's in actually in really good condition i mean i'd i'd put this you know at a seven five easy seven seven five all right and then on to my ebay pickups um i picked this up in a lot and i actually the only reason i got all four of these books was because the book that i wanted was in the bundle and the bundle for all four of them was a little cheaper than it was just for the single book that i was after so i got all four of them which isn't a bad deal but this is a uncanny x-men 173 this is the debut. I even wrote it on here. Here, you read it for yourself. Debut of Storm's stupid ass mohawk. <laughs> Not never been a fan of, Mo, of Storm's mohawk. I think I think it's hideous. I hate it. I wish they would get rid of it. But this is the book that it debuted in. So a little minor key, I guess you could say. And this one's got a little, got a few conditions, but it came with it. And it's Uncanny X-Men, 159. It'll probably just go in my yard sale. Um, this is, um, um, I think Storm turns into a vampire in this one or something. She gets bit by Dracula, but not really a big key or nothing, but still kind of cool. Now this one, this one's a beater. Um, Uncanny X-Men, 161. This is the origin of Magneto retold. Um, it would be a pricey book if it wasn't beat to hell, but it's it's pretty beat to hell. I mean, the spine on it itself says it all, but still, it's worth more than a buck. And this is the book that I picked up the lot for, and it's in really good condition. Thankfully, it was, it's in the best condition of the four. And I picked this up... <clears throat> Um, cause I think it's a major character and, um, of course they, they introduced the character in X-Men 97 and, uh, I think it's a good, I think it's a good long-term, uh, spec book, but it's uncanny it's 168 first appearance of Madeline Pryor. And of course later she becomes the Goblin Queen. So I think we're going to see more of her in X-Men 97 in the in the series so i picked it up because it's on the rise i think and it, it'll be on the rise for a while and last but not least from my ebay pickups my my big key i guess you could say of the lot it is incredible hulk number 234 and this is the first appearance of quasar um i picked this up because i i definitely see Quasar uh, probably being featured in the MCU at some point, be making an appearance. And right now, it's not a very expensive book. And to be honest with you, when it becomes an expensive book, or if, if it does pop off like I'm anticipating, I'll probably sell it. So there you go. Yeah, a little spec book. I'm not going to lie. I love it. But anyway, that's the haul. Um, I don't know. Let me think. Let me know what you think about Quasar. You think the first appearance of Quasar is a is a uh, is a decent spec book, or you think uh, that was a waste of money and it'll never amount to anything? Let me know. Kind of curious. Like to hear. Like to hear y'all's opinions. 
But, um, all right, but that's going to do it. Oh, I got to put them in. Don't put them in there. I'll end up doing them again next week. I got, I got a little box set aside that has, well, marked haul videos. So I put my stuff for my haul videos in that box. And I think there was a time here a couple weeks back or so that I put, I did my haul video and then put the books back in that box and forgot. It ended up showing them again in the next video. <laughs> so I need to quit doing that. But anyway, <clears throat> that's going to do it for the haul video. Um, before you go, if you wouldn't mind, do all them YouTube things you'd like for you to do. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.